Hi there, I'm Stephanie from Renovation Baby and today I wanted to show you um, our review of our plastic shed base. Um, we wanted to install a large shed in our garden um, to replace our garage and we wanted something that was quick, durable and easy to install. The plastic base panels come in smaller sizes of approximately 33cm by 33cm. These can then slot together to create what, whatever size base you need for your own shed. As you can see, here's our final base is fitted along with our shed on, installed as well. Um, we went for an 8x12 shed, so a nice decent size. And it's really strong and durable and we're really pleased. So I'll show you how we fitted it. First off you need to measure out your space that your shed base needs to go on. It will be bigger than your actual shed that you are going to install. So measure it correctly. Use the instructions online on the Plastic Shed Base Company's website for guidance on how to do everything. We used um, builder's rope as well to tie off and mark our area. However you could um, use string or spray it so you know exactly where you need to cut and just start digging out your soil from the area that you need. Um, you need to make sure you measure the correct depth as well and use the baton like this to make sure your area is nice and flat by using a spirit level. Make sure the area is completely flat from end to end so you've got no areas that are slightly higher than the other. Keep using the spirit level to check all the different areas throughout. There you go, you then have your big space ready to fill. Fill your space with good quality weed membrane. Now you need to fill your area with um, lots of gravel and this creates a good solid base for the plastic shed base to sit upon. You've got a pair of little twins getting them along to uh, stamp down the stones to make it nice and solid or compact it down yourself. Then you're ready to start interlocking all the little sections together once you've completely filled up your base. Make sure you have the, each section around the correct way so that they lock in properly. Work your way around at one section at a time. Don't try and do more than one section at a time because it doesn't quite line all up properly. But each one you can work through and then you can fill up the entire area. Once you've covered your entire base area, then you need to then fill the plastic base sections with more gravel. And as soon as you do this, this is when you can really fill the plastic base really lock together and become really solid. Brush into all the gaps and all around the edges and just fill up all the little gaps because it was so surprising as it was quite flexible when it didn't have all the gravel in but as soon as you put the gravel in it just was solid. And that's it, make sure it's completely filled everywhere, all the little gaps and there's your base ready to put your shed on. There you go, here's the big open space waiting for our 8x12 shed to be installed on. And here you go, once the shed is installed on top of your shed base, um, you can just see the plastic bits on the edge if you put it right up, however we just got some little off cuts of turf and we ran it along and covered them over. I was really impressed with the plastic shed base. Um, it was so quick and easy to install for us um, and the fact that I loved that it, it was super lightweight, um, it's strong, durable, weather, UV resistant and they're even made from recycled plastic. So big thumbs up from us and we would happily use it again.